we have spent the entire day renovating our new roof and I actually feel quite optimistic about it. It feels good. Uh, I've spent the last one hour now just putting on some tarps to protect the roof from snow so it's not gonna leak or anything. Uh, so we're gonna go to bed now and just start fresh tomorrow morning. The drops of water hitting the wooden floor woke me up. So I patched it up from the inside and then I climbed the roof in the middle of the night to discover a big hole in one of the tarps. We are very close on hitting 80,000 subscribers here on the channel. And when we do, Christina and me are going to have a new live stream here on YouTube. So make sure to subscribe so we can reach that goal as fast as possible. Whew. It's been a long week. Oh my God. Ugh. If you're new to the channel, hi and welcome. My name is Kalle and I live in this very simple and very rough at the moment log cabin in the northern parts of Sweden together with my girlfriend Christina and our two dogs Tuss and Nala. A few weeks ago we started renovating the roof um, and I thought from the beginning I was, was going to be able to do this myself or most of it at, at least but after a few minutes, maybe five minutes, I realized that I need help. I just felt so lost. I had no idea what I was doing, so I called in for some backup. And it's not like these people, my friends, live close by. Uh, Nicole and Niklas live two and a half hours away from here. Uh, Pad lives three hours away. Uh, Johan and Ronja lives uh, six and a half hours away. Uh, and Thomas and Anna lives two hours away. It's just they came from all over the place, just showed up, just wanting to help. So without them, this roof wouldn't have been like, been even close to getting done. So if you're watching this guys, thank you so much for helping me. This, yeah, this wouldn't have been a possibility without you. Is it one thing that I really learned these days that you should never be afraid to ask for help? Like everyone needs help. That's what you have friends and family for. Before we start this video for real, I just want to say a major thank you to all of you guys who stuck around to the end of my last video. Uh, I actually had a challenge at the end of the video. I said that all of you guys that are here at the very end, please comment a tree emoji or something like that so I know which ones are here at the very end. And my comment field just got flooded by uh, trees. It was like a complete forest in there. So thank you so much for doing that. Uh, so I thought we were gonna beat that record this time. It's over 3000 comments now on that video. It was just a few weeks ago. Uh, so I thought we would do a new challenge this time. Not with an emoji or anything, it's more of a challenge for me, actually. I'm quite nervous about it, but if you stick around to the end of this video as well, I will tell you that challenge. Before my friends and family showed up to help, I was on my own. It was a lot of days and nights alone. But when I needed them the most, my friends showed up. <laughs> you see this guy right here? His name is Thomas. And the funny thing about this is that I've never met him before. He's one of you guys that's watching my videos. He commented a few months ago that 
if I ever need help with the roof, I can just give him a call. And a few months later I did. So now he's here helping us with the roof and I couldn't be more thankful. And this is what I truly love about the community we have created here. You people really care. And I really care about you too. So thank you for supporting and just being here by watching. It means more to me than I can ever express. And this is my friend Niklas. And without his knowledge and help, I would, <laughs> I would have never finished his roof. So once again, thank you so much, Niklas, for helping me not only with your time, but your expertise as well. Even though we worked 12 to 14 hours a day, it was important to head back down to the living room and just make a cup of coffee or hot chocolate and then just hang out and relax. This may sound a bit weird, but I really enjoyed hanging out with my friends this way. We were creating something together. We had a common goal and we did it as a group, as a team. And I both think and feel that that is something that we lost in the modern society. A sense of a tribe, stick together, helping each other, being there for each other. Nowadays it feels like so many people are focusing on themselves. I truly believe that if we're going to design the lives we want for ourselves, we need each other. We need to be okay by being alone as well, but having a sense of community should be a big part of our lives. After a really long day of working, Ronja came with the idea that we should take an ice bath. Both me and Johan was up for it, but at the last second, Johan decided it was better for him to hold the camera. It's after midnight. I think it's like 12:30. A oh, what is it? How do you say that? Who say Monday? Tom. Yeah. Half yeah. past mid the midnight. Half past, half past, yeah, I can't even speak. It's a bit cold, <laughs> but it's very refreshing. We've been working for 15 hours today with the roof, me and you one and Ronja and the other people as well. So, yeah, gotta collect some warmth in front of the fire and then curl up in bed, I think. 
that's it for today. Even though it's very lovely to have my friends here, and even my dad has been here for an entire week actually, uh, it's been very cozy, but it's one thing missing, uh, one big thing. As you may have noticed, Christine is not here at all. She's in Denmark visiting her family, so she's been gone for like, I don't know, two and a half weeks or something. And I've just got, gotten so much, you know, flashbacks from when I was living here alone, uh, like a reminder almost. Because I thought I was okay back then, I, I guess I was in some sense, but since she moved in here, she made this place into a home, not just a cabin. And when she's not here, it's not a home. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it sounds like sad, um, but I really do miss her. Um, it's something very special to have your, your um, the same person representing your best friend, colleague, girlfriend, and yeah, everything. Yeah, are you missing her too? Yeah, cop, cop, get, cop, cop, get. Hey, yeah. So the plan now is to go down to Denmark. It's a 14 hours drive. I'm gonna drive everything in one day because uh, yeah, I've been working on the roof. But just knowing that she was waiting for me in Denmark is a very good motivation, to say the least. I've been driving for about six or seven hours now, but I'm just too tired to continue. I haven't slept for days uh, because of the renovation of the roof and everything. So I've actually parked my car outside of my sister's and my mom's house. Um, so they're kind, and I, kind enough to host me for a few hours and give me some food and some sleep. Um, so I'm gonna head in there now and have a cozy evening with them and then continue the rest of the journey. That's gonna be a lot another seven hours in a few hours, so to speak, if that makes sense. Oh, you! <laughs> Good morning, uh, it's 3.30 a.m. I've gotten a few hours of sleep at least, and now I have about eight hours to drive to Denmark and Christina. Uh, it's Christmas Eve, Christmas day, Julafton we call it in Sweden, so I only have a few hours to drive. Uh, I have to be there. Uh, all the packages is in the car and everything, and I'm just hoping that I'm allowed to cross the borders. Fingers crossed. <music> Even though it was really early in the morning, I was the only one there on the roads. It was just me and the stars for hours. This is not a funny feeling to have in your stomach that you can't move around in the countries you want to visit. It's just a weird feeling. <sighs> You feel like you've lost, I feel like at least, I've lost my control of what I want to do with my own life. There is someone else controlling it for me, somehow. After a full day of driving, I arrived to Öresundsbron, the bridge that is connecting Sweden to Denmark. Hi! Hi. What do you want from me? Passport? Yeah. Yeah. And what should you do in Denmark? Uh, visit my girlfriend. Do you want to visit your wife? Yeah, that's right. Christine? Yeah. Do you speak Swedish? Yes, that's right. 
Jag vet inte om du förstod min svenska, det var ja, därför. Ja, 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 Man vet ja, ja. aldrig. Ja. Tack så mycket. Gå in. Dra i din mål. Det var supersweet. I drove for another hour. And then I met up with Christina at her parents' house. And besides me being very happy to see her, it was two other souls that were very excited to meet her again. Hello, 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 hello. So what is it you want to talk to me about? <sighs> I just want to check how it has been for you to be in Denmark while I have been up in our cabin. We have been away from each other. Yeah, for so, almost three weeks. Yeah. And that has actually been quite hard. Very hard. We did this, uh, what is it, eight months ago when the pandemic started. I know three weeks doesn't sound that much, but the amount of time we normally spend with each other, 24 hours a day we're spending today together. Yeah. So not having that for three weeks is a long time. Yeah. And I've been just focusing on the roof and you've been here with your family and everything. Yeah. It's been this, it's been a bit special because I need to go to Denmark for my family reasons and also to having some clients and suddenly the borders also closed. Yeah. So I was stuck in Denmark yeah. and couldn't get home. And you have been, for those three weeks where I need to be there, helping you with the roof, have to be on your own. Yeah, but I have friends though. You have the best friends. Yeah. <laughs> really. yeah. um, but it's been really hard to, listening to you, in the phone call me for how many hours you work each day and having the dogs and a puppy and I couldn't do anything. No, quite powerless. Yeah. Sense. And then it's really fun because I shouldn't, I was thinking, okay, you can't do anything, Christine, you just sit here and maybe try to relax a bit. But I couldn't do that because yeah. knowing that your friends was there a lot, but you also have days alone on the roof. Yeah. Totally. And it was slippery and my stomach pain had been so much. Yeah. I had been so nervous. Yeah. She almost called me every day and you and said, you're not allowed to die. And I was like, <laughs> okay, that was my plan from the beginning. So, uh, yeah. but yes, it has been really scary to be on the roof alone because every time it has rain or snow, it just like, it's almost like what to walk on like a frozen lake on the roof with like an angle mm. uh, with no safety net, no construction thing to stand on basically. Um, and I have not even said like 10% of the dangerous stuff I have done, you know, to her. Um, you haven't? No, not at all. <laughs> no, no, no. I have some of it on film, but um, the dangerous part, I couldn't hold the camera. Yeah. So the things they have seen and what you've seen, like the dangerous things are, uh, not filmed because that was not safe enough to hold the camera and do the thing I was doing. Mm. You are not <laughs> doing that again, honey. The back side of the house, so to speak, is not done yet. Um, so if you're wondering if I haven't showed like what materials we used and how the mm. process was in building and everything, it's because it's been just too stressful to show everything and talk about it at the same time. So now this video was more like an introduction that we're doing the roof and showing the emotions behind it, I think. But the next video about the roof will be more about the actual materials we're using and why we're building the way we are. And mm. I will include you more in the process of uh, how they built it before and how we're reusing that kind of building technique, but in a new way. But that's going to be in a future video. I also think what we also got from this time is expectation. Mm -hmm. Like, you can never, con you know, because, I don't know, we have these ideas about we doing this and this and this, but because the cabin and situation around the cabin is so out of our control sometimes. Yeah, it really is. Um, 
we have this idea, okay, we will do this in five days and then I can go to Denmark and do what we, you know, we have all this and everything thing just Yeah, like, and I'm such a time optimist as well. Like, yeah. yeah, I think it will be a few days here and there and fix this. And I also told myself I'm gonna post two videos on YouTube in December. Mm -hmm. Well, I haven't. Yeah. Um, just everything takes way longer than you think it does. Yeah. But as you know, in the beginning of the video, I mentioned that I will have a challenge for this video as well. And I don't know if I told you this so far. No. No. And the idea is when I, from the moment I post this video, uh, I will answer every comment that will come in during the for first 48 hours. Every okay. single one. Uh, you can comment whatever you want, a question, a comment on whatever. Uh, I will answer every single one for 48 hours. Now is when you can ask all the dirty questions. Nay, nay, nay. <laughs> it's no. not, guys. Nay, nay, nay. <laughs> I have the right to say no sometimes as well, but yeah. Ask whatever you want and I'll try my very best to answer it uh, as good as I can. Yeah. <laughs> and she's as addicted to the common field as I am. So no, I just, I just, yeah, I love, in a good way. Yeah, in a I good mean. way. Yeah, I yeah. just, I love the interaction with you guys. Like that, what makes everything alive. Like yeah. I want to learn about you as well. I don't want to sit in our bubble. Like learning about you is like the fun part. Yeah. Don't you think so? Yeah, yeah totally. Mm. That's why I wanted to do this channel, channel as my channel challenge, because that's the best part of making videos, like interacting with everyone watching. Thank you for watching this one at least. Uh, it was a really long talk here here at the end, but you seem you guys seem to like the long talks as well as much as we do. Mm. And in the next video, I'm announcing something I've been working on for months. Uh, my patrons know about it already, but you guys will know about it in the next video. And that's something really exciting. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Happy holidays. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>